to um, Massachusetts. Okay. To Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. You just take a bridge in Massachusetts. Really? Island, yeah. And then do a bridge. Yeah. What temperature it is but it's cold um, currently in Colorado got the beautiful mountains behind me uh, people are skiing uh, might go skiing later um, but yeah I just found this like the brook uh, right here to my right um, it's flowing just a little one it's usually a lot bigger like in the summertime but yeah it's kind of just small now obviously because it's all raised out but oof, the one's kind of cold it is currently snowing which is fun so, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna film. Whoop. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking so I don't freeze. But yeah, I found this, like, path, so. It's kind of going on an adventure. It's kind of fun, guys. Bring you, bring you along. You know, it's just me and you guys out here. In the snowy wasteland. No, but it is really nice and pretty. And oh, so cold. <laughs> oh, it's all over my phone now. <laughs> okay, bye. And I'm also in my pajamas because I don't give a. questions from you guys watching I'd like to answer one on my little walk to make this more fun for everybody but honestly I'm having a great time oh another adventure into the wilderness let's go <laughs> literally almost fell on my butt but we didn't Ooh. I've gone on this path before in the summertime and um, it was a nice place to jump in the water and go for a swim and it's still cold in the summertime but not as cold as right now obviously because it's well look maybe someone did jump in that maybe they're uh, maybe that's why it's broken but who knows Every place has a story. I bet these trees now. You know what happened here, don't you? Trees know a lot. We don't give them the credit. Um, I once read this book about trees. It was like the secret life of trees, the secret language of trees. It was entertaining. I um, really appreciated it for its um, knowledge. Is that the right? I really liked the book because it just talked about how trees um, can talk to each other through their roots. So like when, if there's a fire, they can send signals down to the other trees in the area and like kind of just let them know a fire is coming and to like protect their roots, like dig deeper. Um, and they like can just communicate through their roots. And I just thought that was super, super interesting. Um, I just love trees and nature in general. I know you guys can relate to this too, you know, loving nature and whatnot. I feel like it's kind of the trend of the 
the era. Hmm. It's also just so peaceful, staring at the water, listening to it, listening to the breeze. I, uh, I did a poem, also a Tonka poem, um, for one of my courses this semester. Um, I might read it to you guys um, sometime, maybe during this. Um, I thought, uh, I had a fun time doing it. I thought it would, I did a pretty good job. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> but no, I'm just really happy right now out here. I wasn't happy like 10, 20 minutes ago because um, I was just like inside. It's like almost three o'clock right now. And I was just inside with my mom because I'm visiting my parents right now because I live in California now. Um, but it was just kind of like meh, bleh, too mellow, too lazy, nothing really getting done. And I don't know if I'm just like still in kind of the routine mindset from school and so like when I do nothing I feel like I have to be doing something all the time to like to feel good I guess because when I'm not doing anything now like I just feel so like sad depressed even about it but I ha I'm really happy now I think I just need to go outside really and enjoy this beautiful day these beautiful trees and just be in nature be one with the world because we are all one and the sooner we all realize this the happier we will all be <laughs> so yeah uh i'm just gonna keep journeying and bring you guys along i'll try to get some cool shots perched you up on a tree um, for no good reason just to see if I could and I can so there's some birds in the trees it's crazy how they just stay warm like I'm all bundled up and I'm even a little bit chilly right now but these birds are like they have feathers yeah I wonder if it has to do with like... Actually, no, I don't know what it is. Can someone tell me why birds can stay so warm in the winter? Like, it's gotta be their feathers, right? Something else has to do with it, maybe? I don't know. The biologist in me is coming out. Maybe I'll be like Darwin and just watch the birds for a while observe. They do resemble finches in a way. They have little black head and white black wings. Kind of a brown belly though and a short beak but pointy. They're gathering. 
And I also think it's so interesting that in the animal kingdom, the female birds have less colors and the males have extravagant, bright, flamboyant colors. And in our society, human society, we kind of are the opposite. Girls like to dress up more, put on makeup more, kind of do more to their appearance than males. But in the animal kingdom, in most animal kingdoms, it's the opposite. Um, it's the men trying to win over the females for a mate. And I just think that's interesting. Maybe we have something to learn. I'm just happy. Are you guys happy? Let me know. Are you guys fulfilled in life? Are you... Do you think you're on the right path? Do you have goals? Let me know. I honestly love to hear from you guys. But thank you for staying to this point in the video. Because, I don't know, I'm just kind of fulfilling my little dream here. Filming, editing, posting, exposing myself. I don't know, I'm just having fun. But I hope you guys are enjoying and um, check out my other stuff too. Um, keep watching this one. Subscribe, like, stay tuned for more. I think my videos are getting better and better. So don't scroll too far down on my like first videos. Oop. Because, oh, the wind. You're literally just balanced on the branch right now. Okay. Um, because they get cringy the farther down you go, is what I was trying to say. So, don't scroll too far, blah, 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 you know. Okay. <laughs> cool. Peace. Um, I'll see you guys in a sec, I guess, when I decide to either talk or film. So, yes. <laughs> um, I was gonna throw a snowball at you, but I then figured that's gonna be a bad idea, so. Peace. I also found out it's currently 23 degrees Fahrenheit. For everybody who really wanted to know. And my nose is a little bit stuffy. So I'm going back. <laughs>